Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the project we made last time, the platformer game, and change it around to make like this uh, ro jumping robot uh, game. And then you can see that there are platforms and some of them stay still while some of them move right while some of them move left. And if they hit the edge then they will just bounce the other way and then if you uh, fall onto the ground then this this big blue button appears that says game over and well it's game over so let's get started the first thing we're gonna do is just copy our project that we did in the past video so click file and then save as a copy and then once it's saved, you can check that it's the copy version that you're modifying by looking in the title. Here it says platformer game copy. And since we're gonna do we're gonna talk about the title, I'm just gonna change it. And I'll name it Jumping Robot, this project we're gonna make. And then we're just going to delete the backgrounds. Uh, because this time we are going to want each platform to be um, a sprite because we want them to move around. And we can't do that if they're part of the background. So let's go ahead and make those platforms now. So uh, create a sprite and then paint it. And we'll just make it a rectangle um, with the same colors because in the robot code, we programmed it to work with these colors. And then we can make it smaller, the platform. Make it smaller, a bit smaller. Okay, there you go, that should be good. And center it, and then go back to the code, and we can start coding. So when green flag clicked, we want it to be positioned somewhere around here because the robot it falls from here, and it's gonna fall into the platform. So we can position it right here go to x zero we can do and then the y can be negative 110 and you can see that it starts like right there so next i'm going to tell you that this platform here is sometimes going to go right and sometimes going to go left and then if it hits any of the sides they'll just bounce back the other way and so on so um sometimes when it goes right for example it will add uh, like it will add a positive value and then when it goes left then it will add like a negative value so since sometimes it's positive and sometimes negative we will need a variable so we can click make a variable and then we can call it um platform speed And make sure it's for the sprite only because we are going to make multiple platforms and uh, they all will need their own platform speed. So we don't want to make like multiple variables. So for the sprite only and then okay. And then at the beginning we want to set a uh, false speed, uh, platform speed, sorry. So set platform speed to and then we can set it to negative something, uh, negative two. And then we're going to need a forever because it's going to forever move directions. So forever, it's going to change its X position by platform speed. So change X by and then platform speed. So then let's test it. And you can see that it is, it's right now it's moving by minus two in its x because that's what we told it. It, it set platform speed to mi minus two and then it changed x by platform speed. So now instead of going minus two, we're just going to want it to go like either minus two or two plus two. Well, two. So we're just going to do a pick random. And then we're going to do 
from minus 2 to 2. And we can start it, and you can see that sometimes it goes that way, and sometimes it goes this way. So next, we are going to make it bounce off the edge if it touches the edge. So we can do that by making an if, and in that if, it's going to say if x position is, for example, greater than 230, which is like right next to the edge, then we're just going to push it the other way, so make it go the other way. If x position is greater, whoopsies, x position greater than 230, then we want it to go the other way. So then we want to set, whoops, set platform speed to, and then something uh, negative. So negative, um, I don't know, two. So let's test it. And you can see that it bounces off the edge over here on this side. So now we have to do the other side too. So just copy it. And then if x position is uh, smaller than. So if x position is smaller than negative 230. Then set platform speed to 2. So let's test it on this side. So we want it to be moving this way. And you can see that it bounces off this edge too now. So now we can do the next step. Or basically we're just going to make these two ifs into one if and and I'm going to do something else. So um, we're just going to take away this if and we're going to get an and, uh, an or block. So if this or this happens, then we're going to set platform speed to, and then we're going to do a zero minus fall speed because, zero minus platform speed, sorry, because um, this works because we're just going to set it to minus two or two. So what if it comes with like minus one? then it's just going to change like speeds when it goes on this side, when it hits this side. So we just want to do 0 minus platform speed, which is just going to make it go the other way with the same exact speed. So let's test it on both sides. On this side, it works. And then on the other side, Well, yeah, it also works. So next we are going to make clones of this platform. So here, when green flag clicked forever, well, actually we wanted to not repeat forever, but we wanted to repeat a certain number of times until it reaches the top. So let's do repeat five times and then create clone of myself. And when I start as a clone, do this stuff. So we'll hide the original one, and then when I start as a clone, make sure you do the show. And then here, repeat five times, create clone of myself, and then we wanted to like change y by something, so then it's not in the same place. It goes higher. So we're just going to change uh, y, change y by. And then we can do, um, I don't know, we can try 50 for now. And make sure you get rid of this go to, because then it's just going to go there every single time it starts as a clone. It's done. You can test it. And here, the original we want to go to. And so let's just show it for now. We want it to go like right here. So, to zero with, let's try negative 160. So let's test it. And you can see uh, there are the platforms, and there are six platforms because uh, this original one isn't hidden. So I'll go ahead and do that. 
And you can see that sometimes they move that, uh, left, sometimes they move right, and sometimes they stay in the same space because in the pick random, they get a zero. So they don't move any direction, any amount of steps. So the next thing we want to do is make the space between these platforms uh, bigger. So here, change y by, we'll try 100. And we want the robot to start all the way down here. So start at uh, x0 and the y being negative 130. So let's test it. And that is too low. So we'll do negative 100, uh, negative 110. And that looks like it's good. So next, we want to get rid of this fifth platform because uh, it's all the way on the top. So we'll only repeat this four times, the great clone. And there you go. Now let's test if the robot can jump all the way uh, up there. And it can't. So we'll just make the robot be able to jump a bit higher. So we'll go to the robot code, and here we can change this and make it bigger, and then it'll jump higher. So we'll try 13 for now. And I think that's just a tiny bit too well. Okay, let's try one more time. Yeah, that's too low. It, it jumps to less. So we'll try, we'll try 14. Nice, that works. So next, what we want to do is we want to make an if that's basically going to say if uh, the robot's touching this bottom side of the screen, then another sprite will pop up and that sprite will be a square or a rectangle that says game over. So we'll make an if, we'll go ahead. The if we can put under any of these two code, like under any of these two when green flag clicks. So I'll just put it here, I guess. And then we want the Y position smaller than like, let's say negative 170. So if that happens, then since we want another sprite to pop up, we're just gonna broadcast a message. And we'll call it, um, I don't know, game over. The message called game over. And then we're going to make another sprite, paint the sprite. And we'll just make a big rectangle. And I'm just gonna make it like a sort of a blue, like that. And then on it, we're just going to get the text and write game over. Now, the text is in the same exact uh, color, so we do want to change the, the color of the text. So there you go. We can make the text black like that. And there you go. That looks about right. And then here we have to code a bit. So... When I receive game over, show. And then when green flag clicked, we want it to hide. So now let's test it. And we can see that when I hit the ground, this pops up. And it's game over. So now what we want to do is we want to make like a cool effect when the robot hits the ground. We want it to uh, like, yeah, make a cool effect. So here there's this thing, uh, change something effect by something. So we can change the brightness and then we'll try to make a repeat in here. So don't put the broadcast in the repeat, but do put the change brightness effect and then by, uh, yeah, change brightness effect by Five, I guess. 
and it looks kind of like the robot explodes or something. So that looks cool. So next, the problem is that when you get to the top of the screen, nothing happens. You just like sit there. So we just want to like make an infinite number of these platforms. So for example, if you reach half the screen, then we just want to like kind of scroll down and get another platform at the top. So how do you do that? Well, we will make an if and inside of that if it will be if uh, y position is greater than zero, which is half the screen, then it will just broadcast a message to the well to everything but the platform then we're just going to say when I receive then it's just gonna fall down so let's make that if now I'm going to place it over here this time because like last time it doesn't matter so if y position is greater than zero then we want it to broadcast the message. And I'm just going to make a new message and call it, like, uh, scroll down. And then over here in the platform code, we're going to do when I receive scroll down, then it's just going to scroll down. So it's going to change y by minus 100. 100 because that is the difference between the platforms. Now let's test it. So minus 100. And we can see, uh, here, let's. Whoops. So let's test it. And we can see that it goes really fast down. So instead of just one change y by minus 100, we're going to do like a repeat 10 times, change it by minus 10. And now let's test it. Oh, whoops. I died. Okay. And you can see that when you reach half the screen, they go down. But now we also want the robot to go down to like follow the platforms. So we'll just go back to the robot code and put the same exact thing in the if. So repeat 10 times, change y by negative 10. So let's test it and let's let me just get to half the screen. And you can see that when I get to half the screen, they all scroll down. But you can see that um, they just pile down here. So we're just going to say if it's touching the bottom, it's like, like the bottom uh, side of the screen, then we're just going to move it up there. And then we're just going to make another clone and then put the delete this clone block. So we'll make an if, if y position is smaller than negative 170, then we will, whoops, then we will go to uh, x0 and y 150. And then create clone of myself, and then to delete this clone block. So now let's test it. And you can see when I got to half the screen. Here, let me show you again. When I got to half the screen, they scroll down, and then if a platform touches the ground, another one appears high up there. See? So that's good. Now we have to take care of one more thing. So um, the thing that we have to take care of is sometimes, see I have here, these two platforms are like 
going with the same step and they're right above each other and it's like super hard to get past that so we're just gonna do something so that that won't happen ever again so what we have to do is make a variable which we'll call last fall speed uh last platform speed and then we will have to, we will make an if make sure it's outside of the forever oops because we don't have to ask ourselves that forever and then so if and we'll do last platform speed equals platform speed so if they're going with the same step then we're just uh, going to change oh, we're going to set platform speed to zero minus last platform speed platform speed to zero minus fall to zero minus last platform speed and we're just going to save the value of platform speed uh, so we're just going to set last platform speed to platform speed and let's test it now so we'll try to play the game so everything's working so far it scrolled down once because I went to higher than half and then when I die, it says game over. So now we can do just like add a background. We can add a background. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to use this desert. And see this button here? It's not really centered. So I'm just going to make it centered. So there you go. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you next time for another game you can make on Scratch.